This is the scene of one of the most shocking crimes alleged to have been carried out by American soldiers in Iraq. Based on evidence given at the hearing, one afternoon in March, four soldiers walked through the trees and approached this house. Here, according to specialist James Barker's statement, he and another soldier took it in turns to rape the 14-year-old girl. In another room, the girl's parents and five-year-old sister were shot dead. This man, Stephen Green, is accused of committing all the murders. He's since been discharged from the army because of a personality disorder and is being tried in an American civilian court. Barker's statement said after Green had killed the two adults and the little girl, he came into the room where the teenager was being sexually assaulted. He had an AK-47 rifle in his hand. He said, they're all dead. I killed them. He put the weapon down raped the 14-year-old and then shot her dead too. Before they left, they poured kerosene over the girl's body and set it alight. They returned to their checkpoint and Barker said he grilled some chicken wings. A picture emerged of what went on before the attack. According to specialist Barker, the soldiers spent the morning playing cards, hitting golf balls and drinking local whiskey. Private Stephen Green repeatedly said he wanted to go out and kill some Iraqis. They changed out of their uniforms. Green put on a ski mask. After the attack, they burnt their clothes and threw the AK-47 in the canal. The family were buried here amid outrage at their brutal end. The Iraqis will have to wait to hear if the accused will face a court-martial. Jane Peel, BBC News, Baghdad.